How to deal with a mean boss. Sadly, into each life, at least one mean, nasty, low-down, no-good boss must fall. When it's your turn, you'll want these survival tips. You will need cunning, suck-up skills, and some little white lies. Step one, avoid contact with your boss. If you see him down the hall, duck into the nearest file room. If you spy him headed toward your cubicle, pick up the phone and pantomime that you'll get back to him. If you and the boss are the same sex, note his bathroom routine. Most people have one, so you don't have to endure awkward stall-to-stall -stall or sink-to-sink -sink encounters. Step 2. Maximize your time away from the office, and therefore him, by being the first to volunteer when it's announced that someone needs to check up on operations in Lapland. Schedule time off so that it never, ever coincides with his time off. That way, you'll get twice the break from him. Step 3. When your boss is being a jerk, remain serene and polite. Even if your head is about to explode, there is nothing that annoys a bully more than someone who won't rise to his taunts. Step 4. Whenever anyone is looking for him, act as if you're trying to cover for him. Everyone will assume he's guilty of something and feel sorry for you. Apologize for his unreliability. Step 5. Keep written proof of everything you do so the boss can't take credit for your work. Step 6. File an anonymous report with personnel citing his unreasonable computer use for personal business. You won't even be lying. If he's like the vast majority of Americans, he wastes over two hours a day on non-work-related nonsense. Step 7. Make yourself known to your boss's superiors. Most mean bosses get their due sooner or later, and you want to be in a position to ascend the ladder, or at least not be fired. Did you know, according to a recent survey, 39% of bosses don't keep their word, 37% don't give credit where it is due, and 27% badmouth those they supervise to co-workers. Thank you.